seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. We are in the seventh sign of the zodiac, okay? Libra season, okay? Balancing, right? Things are balancing out. This is the Libra Aries axis, okay? The we versus the me or the I, okay? Those energies, right? But what is Libra season about? Peace, justice, harmony, okay? Balance, as those of you guys who know me, I say it like that. I'm just saying balance, okay? Aries, right? Pioneer energy, okay? Optimistic energy, determined energy, okay, revolutionary energy, okay, warrior energy, okay. Do you do you catch my drift? Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, listen, we're in the year 2023, right? That is number seven. The energy of number seven is associated, connected to, it is about however you want to say it, okay, about spirituality. It's about the spiritual growth, it's about spiritual about spiritual ascension, okay. Number seven, the eighth sign of the zodiac. Is Scorpio. Eight is about transformations, rebirth, regeneration, life, death, death, life. Okay. Think about the infinity symbol, right? Don't they just keep interweaving? You can pick one point, start there, go all the way back around, and go at the same point. You can look at it as life, circling back in and death, death, going back into life. Remember, when one thing ends, a new thing begins. When a new thing is beginning, one thing ends. That's your zero, one, one, zero. Okay. Or 10, 10, if you want to look at that. But remember, zero, anyway, too deep for some of y'all. <laughs> so next year, right, will be the energy of number eight, okay, 2024. That's eight. 2025 will be nine. Seven, eight, nine. Are you following me so far? I hope so. Because let's go a little deeper now, okay? <laughs> Hold on. So I broke it down in an astrological way for you, right? The ninth sign of the zodiac would be Sagittarius, okay? Sagittarius is the sign of higher knowledge, wisdom, long distance travel, okay? Optimistic energy, the sign of expansion, right? Ruled by Jupiter, okay? Okay. So, number nine is about what though? Completion, cycles, journeys, phases, right? Again, seven, eight, nine, y'all. I heavily feel, okay, that we, th that is exactly what we are right now. We're in seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. This year, we're doing all this focus on the spiritual growth, right? <laughs> all the learning, all the teachings, all the shifts that are happening, okay? When eight is here, that's the transformation. However, I'm not saying we got to be in 2024 for the transformation to happen because the transformation is already happening, baby. <laughs> Anybody with a true eye can see the transformations are transforming, okay? The transformations are here, okay? Truly. So I heavily feel even more once we go into Scorpio season, okay, especially into the actual month of November, okay, November. Yes, I'm talking in French too on here. Yes, that's me. Okay. That's when we're going to see a lot of these changes even more so executing right coming out. Like... <laughs> If y'all could just see what I see, and I know some of y'all do see it, and you can feel it, okay? And then nine, right? That'll be that reset. It'll be the it'll be kind of the not even kind of it'll be that completion of everything coming back in, right? Full circle, okay? Leading back over to the start over of zero, because remember ten is that a number? There's really no number over nine in the numerology, okay? So think about that. Let me know you. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know about that. Are you guys seeing 789? Do you see 987? I don't know if some of you guys remember, um, but I've also been saying, not but however, I've also been saying it's the final countdown. Like I've been hearing that song for a long time and I, I know I've never really listened fully to that song before. However, that one verse, this, listen y'all. When you be having songs that randomly pop up in your head, certain lyrics, certain verses from a movie, certain um, sentences from a book that you've read, my foot is itching, something, when you when you have those little nudges pop up, y'all got to follow them nudges, okay, them signs, them downloads, because they are leading you somewhere. Truly, when I say the final countdown, I will never forget going back to every season, the beginning of every season, Three, two, one, right? I told y'all about that too. Three, two, one. I was like, that is, this is the final countdown. Three, two, one, zero. Like, 
So yes, there's a lot of shifts taking place. And as we are in this energy of number seven, when we move into the energy of eight, just, 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 just be ready. Okay. A lot of us are already ready. It's not even get ready. It's, it's a lot of us are ready. Okay. The time is very, very near. Again, many of us can feel it. We see it. It's, it's truly here already. In all honesty, it is here. There's just a few more things that's being kind of, you know, muddied up and kind of cleared out, if you want to call it that. So, hmm. Again, pay attention to the downloads that you're receiving at this time, okay? The moon is still in the sign of cancer. Cancer is the sign that rules intuition, okay? The moon has been in cancer, I want to say, since Jupiter Day, okay? Which is Thursday, for those of you guys who do not know, okay? So, think about 